Okay guys, <clears throat> welcome to Afro Hair Addictions and this is my channel. Today we are going to have a discussion or a rant about weave. Now this is my weave umbrella. I just want to show you some examples of weave. This picture now um, inspired me to make this video. Now I know in a couple of forums, a couple of groups, people were talking about this picture on Facebook and they were saying, um, some people were saying that um, it's good that there's a weave that resembles dreadlocks and most a couple of famous people have been wearing this weave um, and it's good to have weave which is actually you know looks like real afro hair because like dreadlocks or rusters whatever you want to call it is a type of natural um, afro style but personally I didn't like it and the reason why I didn't like it is because it's still fake hair I really don't think that it's actually real afro hair, it's probably some other fake whatever, it could be King Kalam, it could be like Mal Malaysian or whatever hair that's made to look like afro um, locks or rusters, but at the end of the day it's still false hair and the, the reason why I don't like it, because it's false hair, is because it's not your own hair that's grown from your scalp, okay? It's a type of weave. Um, I know <laughs> I know some people are going to disagree with this video, but really I don't care because it's, you know, YouTube, you can say whatever you want, it's my channel, and you know where to click if you don't like what I'm thinking. So anyway, I'm not trying to offend people, I'm just giving you my opinion, and you can give your opinion too. So this is my weave umbrella, and you can see at the top it says weave, then there's like different divisions, different subtitles, so lace front, full closure, hair piece, hair clippings, wigs, braided extensions. So we're going to go back to the weave, the ruster weave. Now, um, don't get me wrong, like, when I big chopped, I used to wear cane row or corn row extensions um, for the most part. Like, I just couldn't handle having no hair. So I used to simulate my old length with the extent corn row extension. I don't have a problem with corn row extension because you can make it look real. It's believable, you know, it's believable, okay? But when people wear lace front weave, full closure weave, it's just like, oh my god, it's just so fake. People can tell it's fake. You look like you've got a mushroom head. You know, it's very rare that it actually looks realistic. Hair pieces, I mean, I can kind of waver that. I can pardon that, you know, because you can get hair pieces and apply it in a way that it looks real. Hair clippings, same thing. You know what I mean? People can make it look believable. But then when you kind of like go to the other things like wigs again it's very hard to get wigs to look realistic you know and then the braided twisted extensions yeah I mean I already said that I can waver those or pardon those but it's like oh, when people wear wigs you know sometimes it really does look fake and especially if they buy the cheap plastic one it just looks fake do you know what I mean and if you if you just if you just look like you are you know, you are from Africa, you know, and someone, they buy a fake wig that's bone, silky, shiny, straight. I mean, come on now. Everyone knows the type of hair we have. Do you really think you fooled people? Really? You know, like, you can buy wigs or weave that has, like, a kind of a kinky, kind of blown out type of texture, you know, more realistic. Like, there's something that someone said before, I think it was on Facebook, like... Indian weave African edges and yes I've seen that so many times like people have got their hair laid and slayed or oh, they think they have the hair is silky shiny from behind and then when you look at them from front you see those edges and although they've relaxed the edges they flatten the edges the edges still look African you know if you're black 100% black you know you don't have type 3 hair, you've got like type 4 thick, kinky, coily hair. The, you know, it's just, you, you may get your hair straight, but it's never going to look like the Indian hair. It's never going to, it's never going to work, you know? Never going to get it, 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 woo 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 woo! Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, you need to really get your texture right when you buy weaves or wigs. You need to get your colour right when you want to match the wig and weave or whatever extensions to your hair. 
some people just don't get the colour right. I know it's sometimes difficult, like, God knows what the manufacturers use to colour the wig or weave. Because sometimes in shops, commercial shops, you can't buy the same colour that the manufacturers of the weave used. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, everyone can do whatever they want. I choose to be natural, you can choose to wear weaves. You know, but... <sighs> you know, it's just... With that dreadlocks weave, I was just like, I understand, I really do understand, but, you know, why spend money, waste your time wearing this fake hair when you could just grow your own hair and wear your own hair? I know some people use these wigs and weaves, you know, on top of their protective style or as a protective style. But it's just like, I don't know, like, you know, I've said previously before, I've wrote songs, I've, I've, I've made a song and dance about it, you know, I am a natural hair, um, enthusiast, to put it nicely. I'm not going to use the other word, because it's just like anti-Semitic, but I am, I am a natural, um, a neo-natural. <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, I am Afrocentric, I'm afraid to say. You know, I mean, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, it's just my opinion. I mean, as I said before, I do admire some people with relaxed hair and text relaxed hair. I do admire it because, you know, these people that I know, they do care for their hair very well and their hair does look healthy. And some people do have long, relaxed hair. You know? Um, I'm not saying it's not possible to grow your hair relaxed or text relaxed long and healthy. What I'm saying is, you need to know what you're doing, and especially with the extensions and the weaves and the wigs, don't live in a kind of fantasy land. Cuckoo, cloud cuckoo, like cuckoo land, you know, this isn't Never Never Land Ranch, you know, in America. This is like real life, you know. If your texture is like 4C, you know, possibly 4B, I mean, you can't be buying Indian weave, you, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, keep your eye out for those Ken Kalan, you know, for that Indian Remy, you know, whatever, like, see if you can identify what type of weave people are wearing, because, you know, more than likely, it ain't going to be matching their natural texture, or sorry, their real hair, okay? So this, this voiceover has been like 7 minutes, 38 minutes, seconds, so um, I'm going to end it now. But um, yeah, just if you're out and about, just make sure you've got your weave umbrella up because you do not want your edges to be showing the truth.